Now, NBC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Thankfully, all of that heat starting to move to the south. I spent most of the past couple of days in the air conditioning, but you, my friend, were poolside. I was poolside. I went to North Beach. I was soaking it all in, but I have to say I'm good. I think I've met my quota for the <laughs> summer in terms of the 90s and humidity. The whole summer? So we can jump right to fall? No, no, no. Okay. Let's 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 stick to 80s and 70s for now, and I'll take that. Oh, <laughs> well, we've got plenty of that in the forecast. That's starting today, too, with highs in the low and mid-70s for a lot of us, and we'll make it closer to 80 in the Champlain Valley. More clouds than sun and a breeze out of the north and west about 5 to 10 miles per hour. You're starting off with temperatures in the 60s and low 70s in places like Burlington and Middlebury. Lebanon as well checking in with a 70 degree temperature. We do have some humidity. It's not quite as muggy as the past couple of days. Dew points still well into the 60s, but watch what happens by this afternoon. We get enough of a push from the north where the humidity comes south and it turns out to be a comfortable afternoon, at least for parts of northern Vermont and northern New York. Meanwhile, southern Vermont, unfortunately, staying very muggy through the rest of today. And then everywhere tomorrow, the humidity will surge right back in. And that sets us up for a rather unsettled weekend forecast. Right now, it looks like both days will have some rain, perhaps periods of rain in the afternoon Saturday. Still a bit cool with highs in the 70s. Then we warm back to the 80s on Sunday. That day looks a lot more active with downpours and thunderstorms. And we'll show you how much rain adds up in just a bit. Looks like it could be a lot in some towns. Starting you off with today, though, a spot shower possible, otherwise mainly dry. We'll have to watch for a quick thunderstorm in southern Vermont later today. Shouldn't be uh, anything like we had yesterday, though. And then for tomorrow, optimistic that early it's dry, but in the afternoon, there's round number one of rain that comes through mainly in the mid to late afternoon, then it should leave as we look towards 7, 8 o'clock in the night. So we've got a brief little window of dry weather there. And then by Sunday morning, here's round number two. A lot more widespread and pretty heavy, especially in northern areas, right by the Canadian border. Could be absolutely pouring Sunday morning, even into the afternoon. All of this ending as a broken line of thunderstorms. So when we look at the rainfall forecast this weekend, Saturday, not a huge deal, about a quarter to a half inch of rain. But when we add in the Sunday numbers, all of a sudden it's one, two, perhaps close to three inches of rain in some towns. Given all the rain that we got yesterday, when with this on the way, I am getting a little bit concerned about the flood potential as we look Sunday into Monday. So that period, something to watch very closely, especially if you live by a river, Next week looking quieter with a couple chances for showers and storms, but temperatures staying in the 70s and 80s.